Hello, I'm Mark Webb, an elder here at Hebron Church. We want to share with you Worship Plus Two, a new vision of our ministry here together. As Christians, we are to be to the praise of His glory. And here at Hebron, we are going to stress this by emphasizing the role of worship plus two in the formation of disciples. As we worship God, we not only adore him, but also we are faithfully transformed and changed in the way in which we orient ourselves towards him. And then also, plus one, we are changed as we are growing in our understanding and knowledge biblically and theologically of the Lord. And now plus two, we are changed, we are formed as disciples through our service to others. Now most naturally it would be to assume that in our service to others, we are blessing them, we are benefiting them, and of course we are doing that. But it is a tried and true proven practice that as we serve others, we too are transformed and shaped by the very Spirit of the Lord that is working in us into other people's lives. And so an important part of our element here in worship, plus two, is going to be that second plus one, which is the emphasis upon engaging everybody here at Hebron in some form of service and ministry in God's name. Opportunities to serve as Christians will come in a variety of different ways. And almost every believer will have the chance to minister both within the church and to those who are outside. We have wonderful opportunities here at Hebron Church for you to minister to the congregation that is present. We can't do what we do here without people volunteering to serve in the youth and with the children's ministry, in different adult functions, being able to teach Bible studies, lead small groups, do all the things that are necessary here. But as important as it is for us to have those things take place, as important as they are for the function of our church, that's not the primary reason why we are encouraging people to get involved in service here at Hebron. It is because it is through those very characteristics, those ways, that God will actually change and transform us. While we are serving others, we too are being touched by the Spirit of God and molded and shaped more and more into His image. But Christian ministry is not limited simply to other believers. Indeed, a massive importance to the Spirit of God is the movement of Christ across the entire world, outside of the church. That begins here in Penn Hills, in the eastern part of Pittsburgh, and then moves into the entire world. And as believers, we have a responsibility to have that kind of a global picture of what God is doing, and then to participate that through service. So not only are we encouraged to serve within the church, but it is important for us. Almost every one of us will have some type of an outreach ministry, an outreach opportunity where we can serve either through the ministering uh, to want to other people through the giving of meeting of needs or encouraging and supporting international missions across the world. We desire to grow and we will grow as believers as we worship faithfully the Lord, as we develop more and more of our understanding of who God is, and as we minister faithfully to our own body and then far beyond our walls into the surrounding community. I once mentioned to somebody that I was too young spiritually. When I was very young as a Christian, I told somebody that I was too young spiritually to get involved in service. Let me grow first and then I will be able to minister to others. Very appropriately, this person said, no, everyone is called, every believer is called to serve the Lord in one fashion or another. We all can reach out to this world with the love of Jesus. And I encourage you to come and join us as we do that together, all to the praise of God's glory.